This is a quick tutorial on Unit 1, Lesson 1, Read and Write Numbers to the Thousandths Place. So last week we worked on reading and writing whole numbers, and now we're getting into decimals. Remember when we have a word that ends in the TH, that that's going to be on the right side of the decimal. So let's review our place values first of all. So to the left of the decimal sign, we have our whole numbers, and to the right of our decimal signs, we have our decimal numbers, which are part of one. So we start off with tenths, and then we move over to the hundredths, and then the thousandths place. And they really mirror the other side, except for we skip ones. So we have no ones. So we have tens and tenths. Hundreds and hun hundreds and hundreds, thousands and one thousands, and it would keep going on. Ten thousandths, ten thousands, and so on. So we're going to write this number here in word form. So we have to be able to say the word. You can place it on the decimal chart. So we see our decimal is right here and right here, and that can be sort of our base there. So we're going to put the 2 in the 1's place, the 9 goes in the 10th place, the 6 goes in the 100th's place, and the 7 goes in the 1000th's place. Now when you say your decimal, you're going to say the word AND. So you just simply say what's on this side of the decimal like you normally would. So that's 2. That's all that you would say because that's all that that is. And then you read this just as you see it. 967. And then you say the place value of the last digit. So you just say 967, just like normal, 967 thousandths. So then you write that. 967. Seven thousandths. So you will be saying or writing the place value of the last digit that is in the number. So it is two and nine hundred sixty seven thousandths. Let's go ahead and try this one. So, first of all, place the number. So our 8 goes in the 1's place, 9, 1, and then 2 is in the 1000's place. We just always check it with our decimal there, and then we're just going to say it. So first we just say whatever's on this side, 8, and, and then we say 912 thousandths, 8, and, Nine hundred twelve, and then you say the place value of the last digit, it's in the thousands place. Thousands. Now let's say this said this, then you would say two hundred eighteen and nine hundred twelve thousandths. Okay, let's move on. Now, sometimes you'll get it in word form, and you have to write it in standard form. So we see our and here. We know that that's our decimal. So whatever's on this side is going to go to the left of the decimal, and everything on this side of your and will go to the right of the decimal. So let's just deal with our whole numbers first. We look here. We see 25. So we write in 25. We double check. 25, 25, yes. So now it gets a little bit trickier when we get into decimal lands. We see the word thousandths, so we know that the last digit has to go in the thousandths place. And then we look at what number they see, 21. Now a common mistake is to do this. Well, that would be 21 hundredths, so that's not correct. This is another common mistake. But that would be 210 thousandths, and that's not what this says. So... 21 thousandths, it would need to be right here so that we're able to say the thousandths. And then it also shows the number 21 
and then you just fill in with zero. So we have 25 and 21 thousandths. So your answer would be 25 and 21 thousandths if we were to write that in standard form. Let's try one more. So we notice our word and. That's going to be there where our decimal is. So everything on the left of it or before it goes to the left of the decimal. Everything after the decimal is going to go to the right. So let's deal with before the decimal, our whole numbers. 342. Okay. 342. Double check that that's what you want. 300. Okay, we have our 342. 42. Good. Now we're at our and. Now, we see that our last word is hundredths, so we know that the last digit, as far as it's going to go, is hundredths. There's going to be nothing in the thousandths place. Our last digit's going to be hundredths. We look what we're going to write there, 68, 68 hundredths. So now let's check it. 342 and 68 hundredths. 342 and 68 hundredths and we're good to go. Now you hopefully can get to the point where you can do it without the chart. So for example, if I write this number, okay, so we have this number and we're going to practice saying it because if we can say it, then we can write it. So we have our and, and now let's just deal with the number before, the whole number. So we have 2,042. 2,042. And now we'll deal with this. We see the number 17. And then we don't say 17 hundredths. This 3 over. 1, 2, 3 over from the decimal is the thousandths place. So we would say 17, and then we would say the place value of the last digit, 17 thousandths. So that is a quick tutorial on reading and writing numbers to the thousandths place.